In this brief video, we're going to examine how to reduce the size of a simulation. If I'm simulating a large power amplifier or any other large circuit that has a lot of different harmonic uh, content and different uh, anything where I need high time uh, resolution or high voltage resolution, and I have a large circuit with a large net list, I'm going to generate a large data file. In order to reduce the data file, I can make sure to only save nets that I select on the schematic. So I have analog design environment opened, and I'm going to go to outputs to be saved, select on schematic. I'm going to go over to my schematic view and just select the nets that I want to be saved into the data file. I can also select currents. So you can see I've just selected net out, net four, which is the input net in this case, and the minus terminal of the voltage supply V2 to be saved. We don't have any ports on this schematic, so I'm going to delete these. And nothing else is set to be saved. So now I can open up my transient simulation analysis and select options. And under output, there are several different output parameters. So one is save. I can select either all or some different level of hierarchy, or I can just select selected. So that would save just out net 4 and V2 minus. The downside to this is if you run a long simulation, these are, the, uh, these are the only nets that will be saved. So you should be careful in selecting the nets that you choose to be saved, but this will greatly reduce the size of your data file. Another way to reduce the size of your data file is to change the convergence limits. So conservative convergence limits will you know, in, innately guarantee that there are more points run in the simulation and hence more data saved. So you can change from conservative to moderate or moderate to liberal depending upon the accuracy level that you desire. Until next time.